Hi, this is David from How to Repair Your Lawnmower. As promised, we're back to teach you how to service your carburetor and how to get rid of the stale fuel out of your lawnmower. So stick around, we're back with Lilo and Ralph. Let's have some fun. First thing we're going to do is we're going to drain out the old fuel. Okay. Now, if you're really lucky like me, you've got something like this. This is a Pella 600 pump. Okay. And basically, one end goes into your fuel tank, and then all we do is we pump. So here we go. And we'll start to see, hopefully. Fuel coming out. There we go. You can see the fuel. Um, very yellow, so not great. Anyway, so we'll uh, we'll pump this out, and then we'll come back to it. Okay. One of the greatest things about working on lawnmowers is you don't really need a lot of tools. A decent socket set. Not even a decent socket set. You just have a I don't know cheap socket set and some screwdrivers. First thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this screw here now a word of advice is if you're really unsure take pictures before you do things and then you can see where bits and pieces go back because what a lot of people do with these filters is they take them off they forget where they go and they put them back on this way because they think oh it's aerodynamic i'll get more speed but it's not so uh a lot of the time when you go on ebay and you're looking for lawnmower and someone says it doesn't start and you look at the lawnmower you can see that the air filter's the wrong way around so you know that they've had a go and it goes that way. Anyway, so we're gonna take the air filter off. Now, as you can see here, this air filter is filthy, so we're gonna to have to give it a good clean. That's where the petrol comes in handy. You can clean that out in petrol. But um, it's, I've seen worse, it's not too bad. But we'll get all that gunk off, and we'll give that a good clean out. Um, again, you know, people wonder why the lawnmowers aren't starting, but I mean, that's not fantastic anyway. Okay, so after this segment, I nipped for a cup of tea and then um, Lilo and Ralph did an inspection and realised that there was a spring missing, which I missed. So we'll move on to another lawnmower. Okay, so a prime example of buying a used lawnmower is that after draining the fuel, we realised that there are quite a few parts missing in this lawnmower. So rather than mess about, I'll sort that out. What we'll do is we'll start again. Okay, this lawnmower doesn't have any petrol in it. Now this is another Briggs and Stratton engine. Now if you just have a look at this lawnmower, it's, uh, it's seen better days. The first thing we want to do is take the air filter off and that is just a flat head screw and that will let us get to the springs and linkage. Okay, off it comes. Whoop. Okay now this air filter actually looks really nice apart from when you look there. But um, we'll give that a good clean up. Again, that's why we keep that old fuel, because we're able to clean that up. So we'll pop that there. Okay, so here we go. Okay, there is one thing. I did forget to remove the spark plug. So although we're not gonna be near the blade, it's always a good idea to remove the spark plug because uh, again, we love our fingers. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, we're going to start to take the bolts off so that we can remove the carburetor. The carburetor is attached to the tank. Okay, so, first of all, we'll get this bolt off. The great thing about taking these off as well is that you can get behind and you can have a little bit of a clean up as well. Okay, so we have that bolt there and then, we have another small bolt here I just want to remove. There we go. Make sure you put them somewhere safe because they do get lost. I've lost so many. Okay, so your bolts are off. And then we'll remove this little boot here. We should come away. Okay, so now 
we have a little linkage which goes to the governor right on there and we'll just pop that little monkey off okay there we go so there's your carburetor there's your tank and there's a very very dirty engine okay so we drain the fuel and now what we're going to do is we're going to take the carburetor off and then we can have a little bit of a clean and then we can see what's going on okay so we have one two three four five screws and these are phillips screws we need a Phillips screwdriver, which is down here. And then you don't really have to, but if you can take them off like you're doing up the wheel nuts on a car, you do them in, uh, in diagonals. And when you do it up, that is the best way to do it. And that just makes sure that it comes off evenly. These things underneath are plastic. So you do have to be careful. go up it comes okay so make sure that you keep the screws somewhere nice and safe and um, next thing we'll do is we'll take off the intake we'll give everything a good clean and then we'll replace the diaphragm okay so a great thing to have is car cleaning spray okay so what we're gonna do is we're going to pop this little filter off. Okay. And we're just going to run a bit of carb spray in there. Let's give that a really good clean. And as you can probably see, I don't know whether you can see that or not. That's looking lovely and clean. Okay. So we'll just pop that down there. And then we want to take this little monkey off here should pop off there we go and then again just run a bit of carb spray down the middle there we go okay it's fantastic we'll pop that down there and then the rest of your carburetor while you've got it off you might as well give it a good old clean carb spray is great i mean i do use the old fuel as well and if you do have a paintbrush about. You can just see there with a little bit of carb spray how nice and clean that is. So we'll go on to the next step. Okay, so we'll pop the diaphragm off. So, I don't know whether you can see there, but this diaphragm is a bit saggy now the last thing you need is a saggy diaphragm trust me okay so you'll see although it looks like one there's actually two parts you have a diaphragm and you have a gasket but we'll show you how these go back on next thing we're going to do is just give this all a clean cut okay so now we can start to just put the bits back on that we've taken off. With these intakes, you just need to push until you hear a click. There you go. You couldn't hear the click, but there was a click. Okay, so that's that part of the car built up. Next thing we want to do is, as we can see, we're nice and clean here. So the next thing we'll do is we'll put the diaphragm and the gasket on. It's not a bad day today. Right, carrying on then. The first thing I want to do is I want to show you the diaphragm, we're just gonna go in here, we're gonna have a look, it's a diaphragm gasket. If you wanna pause on there, you can get the part numbers, it's a Briggs and Stratton. I always go for Briggs and Stratton, I go for the originals because you can get cheap copies, but it's always good. I think it's about two pound 50, three pound on eBay. So, the order that these go on, always first the diaphragm, okay? So what we do is, 
we line up the diaphragm. Now the diaphragm will go where this little hole is. So there we go. Line up your diaphragm with the holes. And then gasket will go on top. It's a bit fiddly, I'm afraid, but uh, it's not great with gloves on either. Okay, so. Now the great thing with these holes is they are guided so the screws do sit in okay so making sure that you've got your spring in the intake will go in there and then your diaphragm will your carburetor will sit there and then we can see here that we've got the holes now what I do now is I always take my glove off because I want to make sure that I don't tear the diaphragm or the gasket and again, what we'll do is we'll just pop the screws in. Nice and gently. So again, making sure that we're nowhere near the diaphragm because that's the last thing you want to do is damage it. They're not expensive, but it's a pain having to wait for them to be delivered. Okay, so they're in. And then like I said earlier, what we do is we do this like a car wheel going diagonals and all that happens there is that it just makes sure that we're going on evenly okay there's your diaphragm and your gasket on and then you got this little gasket that goes on top the filter there we go now we can start to uh, put things back on the mower okay so all that really is left to do before we start to put things back is to give the filter a bit of a clean now uh, what I like to use is as you can see here there's a bit of old style fuel there that I've taken out of one of the old lawn mowers and what we'll do is we'll just give a bit of a clean in the style fuel. It's not going to come up looking brand new. Um, but all you want to do really is just make sure that you get that dirt off. There we go. One of the reasons I work outside is because of the fumes of some of the stuff that you work with. The carb spray cleaner and also working with fuel and sometimes I will rub down and respray a mower if it's worth it and so again it's good to do outside if you can okay so that's looking a lot cleaner um, we'll give the inside a bit of a wipe it's pretty clean as you could see when I took the filter out it was quite clean so Again, let's give this little fella a clean as well. So again, you can see how it's good to keep the old fuel because you're not wasting it. Um, so, obviously the way that the filter would go in would match up to where the dirt was. And there goes your filter. And always remember when you're putting the filter back on, people think it should be like that because it's aerodynamic, but it's not. And you can see actually that it fits into the shape of the engine or the engine cover. Okay, fantastic, right. So, first thing we're gonna do then is we're going to put the carburetor back on. So, we have here a little O-ring. So we wanna make sure that that fella's on. And what we'll do is, we'll hook the butterfly back up again. <laughs> like I said earlier, I'm afraid in Britain, we have an expression called cack handed. And I'm afraid that I have a tendency to be cack handed. Okay, so I'm just making sure that that, O-ring 
is all good there. It's fantastic. Okay, so the next thing to do is to line up your bolts. So the first one goes in there. And then we have another one somewhere. Uh, Mr. Organizing Pro, here we go. Okay. And the other bolt will go here. These really are fun to work on. They really are. Put that little gasket back on and it just fell off. Okay, so it's just a case now of tightening up. Whoops! Dropping my ratchet. So some of you guys might watch <laughs> Some of you guys might watch this video and think there's no way I'd let this guy anywhere near my lawnmower. And uh, yeah, you'd be right. But uh, I promise you that uh, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> there we go. So that's tightened up. And then we'll pop this little boot back on. Just here. I probably should have done that before, but sometimes I do get ahead of myself when I do these things. There we go. That little boot. <laughs> Come on there. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, so. Okay, so the last bit to go on is your air filter. I don't really cut and start again when I uh, make mistakes, simply because we all make mistakes and to be honest with you part of having fun and having a bit of a giggle so that's your rear filter going back on again and then we just find a screwdriver Okay, so all that's left to do is pop your spark plug back on, and there we have it. That's how easy it is and how fun it is to replace a gasket in a diaphragm on this Brixton Stratton. Have a go and have some fun. Have a laugh. Just enjoy yourself. I mean, if you get it wrong, start again. It's just a small lawnmower engine, and um, we're going to put some fuel in this. And we're going to give her a run and see how she gets on. Okay, so we're going to try and put some petrol in the lawnmower. Lido and Ralph have been gagging all day to try and help, but um, we'll get them inside because we don't want dogs around when we're using petrol or any chemicals because obviously they're harmful. So uh, we'll pop the dogs inside, we'll uh, put some petrol in this thing and we'll see if we can get it started. So we put fuel in. Next thing to do is just give a couple of pushes on the primer, get a bit of petrol through. And then hopefully, we should really get started. So as you could hear, there was a lot of clunking in that video. Um, and we've realised the reason why. Come down here, we can see that the engine isn't actually attached to the bodywork. So if we just start it again. Okay, so uh, again, this is YouTube, I don't cut things out. Um, that's something we're gonna have to address. So we'll pop that down, tighten it up. But apart from that, that's a good running lawnmower. 
So uh, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like. We'll see you in the next video. Any more videos coming up, don't forget to subscribe, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, or hit the like button. But um, let's have some fun, and we'll see you next time on how to.